so listen. So I had services with this company called um, Frontier, aka Vantage, I guess, in my area. So now they're offering me subpar services because um, the internet keeps dropping out and, and coming back in and you know i've had the tech out here several times that he says there's nothing much else he can do you call customer service they look at it and they say well oh we've done as much as we can you know um and i can see that it's dropping out and it's too many times to count okay sounds like an issue with vantage it's not my problem so i finally decide after paying the the bill for months let's contact them and cancel the services so i go to cancel the services the guy says well we're gonna go ahead and cancel the service we can't cancel it to the end of the billing cycle because we don't do any prorated bills never heard of that before but okay whatever and then he says oh and you don't have to return the equipment you can just throw it away Hmm. Never heard that before, but okay. Some companies do a new thing. But then he sends me an email that says, um, here's your confirmation number. You're being charged $10 for canceling the services. On top of that, there will be a $100 non-return box fee if we don't get the box return. Here's where I have a problem. First of all, your service sucks. Second, you're charging a customer $10 to shut off your sucky services. Then you tell people, oh, you don't supposed to return the box. But then you send them an email saying there'll be a $100 fee for not returning the box. So I called in again a few minutes ago. Talked to the lady, explained the situation. She says, oh, well, we can't send you a return label until after your services disconnects, which is the end of my billing cycle can't disconnect it now but whatever so i explained to her why is it that i have to pay you ten dollars for canceling my service i wasn't under any type of contractual agreement from my understanding when i initially got the services so why am i paying y'all ten dollars to disconnect your services and she says that's normal you know, that's bad business practice if that's the case that you're charging people ten dollars to cancel your services um like all you're doing is basically pushing a button in your system, like literally, and you're charging me ten dollars just to push the button. Um, you know, if the, you know, trust and believe. Once people turn return the box, they're not using your services anyway. Whether the tech has to come out and put a cap on it or uh, on the line or what have you, still, you know, the services are automatically done away with once people send the box in because you can't use your services without your box. So now the lady tells me, oh, well, I understand. She puts me on hold um, and comes back and said, well, we can give you a $10.69 credit on the account for um, the disconnect fee. And then um, she says, um, um, but as far as any credits on the account for... Um, for the bad service, um, you know, we can't give you any credits for that. I'm like, oh, so even though you could see your services was dropping and suck, you can't credit the account. No, we're not allowed to do that. I said, okay, all right. I said, uh, okay, uh, thank you for the $10. So she said, well, we'll, uh, now all before she said she couldn't send out a box until the service is disconnected. But now all of a sudden she can do it. So I'm like, okay. So, my next question to you then is how can I report this agent that told me that the box is not supposed to be re uh, returned? And then I got an email saying I can get a $100 charge. She said, oh, no, um, because sometimes the system does say that um, the customer doesn't have to return the box. Okay, so if you telling me that sometimes that's the case, and you send it out an email. She said, oh, well, those are generic emails. How is this generic when um, it's my account information? So 
the system should be able to be tweaked some way where you can check off a box, add in additional information that this customer does not owe that hundred dollars. Because my thing is this: once that service disconnected, is disconnected, and you get that box back, it then becomes my word against yours that this hundred dollars is or is not owed. And all I have is your words saying no, but something in writing saying yes. So how was the customer protected and how many people that have had your services has disconnected it and now owe a hundred dollars because the box was wasn't returned it was thrown away because once it's in the trash and the garbage man come and get it there's no getting that box back oh well i see what you're saying but uh she didn't have an answer for it you know she just kept talking around in circles but you know frontier communications Vantage, whoever you are that's in my local area, y'all need to do better because that is bad business and y'all wait on that little uh, remaining balance that I uh, owe y'all because um, I don't think that I will be paying that anytime soon and y'all could get in line because um, I, I, you know, I took the bad services that y'all was giving me like a champ and um I didn't even fuss and argue for the past couple of months. And I paid on, you know, I paid some of the bill um, a few days ago, maybe three or four days ago, um, even though the service was still sucky because I'm, and I, and you know, I just debate every month whether I should pay this bill because the services were so bad. But, you know, I went in and paid it and um, I still have um, money left to pay. And I can, you know, I can um, admit to that. But after today, <laughs> y'all can charge it to the game because um not only was the service bad the the rep that I let, I spoke to in customer service she ain't she wasn't even allowing me to fill out a complaint that I wanted to fill out about you know being told that so uh that's another strike because anytime a customer say they have a complaint you're supposed to go ahead and file that you don't you don't tell the customer uh no and try to explain away another rep's um uh job because you don't work in retention you customer service i spoke to someone in retention and even the guy in retention said you know they don't offer any different plans in my area to where I could bump it, bump it up and make the services any better. So basically what I had is all I could get. So again, not my fault, but I just think the way y'all do business, y'all need to do better, period.